Cinderella, bedtime stories for kids in English. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived an incredibly beautiful girl named Cinderella. She had a heart as kind as her looks were lovely. Sadly, her mother had passed away when she was very young, leaving her father to raise her alone. But one day, everything changed when Cinderella's father remarried a woman who was not at all kind-hearted. Cinderella's new stepmother had two daughters of her own, and they were anything but friendly. From the very first moment they set eyes on Cinderella, jealousy twisted their hearts. The stepmother and her daughters were envious of Cinderella's beauty, and they treated her like a servant. While they were rude and spoiled, Cinderella remained sweet and gentle, doing her best to keep the peace in their household. One fateful day, Cinderella's father had to leave on a long journey for work. This was the moment when Cinderella's life turned into a living nightmare. From now on, her stepmother declared, you will live in the attic and do all the housework. Cinderella was heartbroken but knew she had no choice. Helplessly, she packed her few belongings and moved to the dusty attic, leaving behind the warmth of her childhood room. Days turned into weeks and Cinderella became a master at cleaning, cooking, and taking care of her stepmother's household. Despite her tireless efforts, her stepmother and stepsisters never showed her a shred of kindness. Wipe the floor again. Can't you see it's still dusty? They would bark at her. Cinderella's only friends were the birds and mice that visited her in the garden. They offered her comfort during her long, lonely days. Each night, Cinderella would sneak down to the fireplace to warm herself by the dying embers. She would often fall asleep dreaming of happier days, longing for a life filled with love and laughter. One day, as she sat in the garden talking to her feathered friends, an exciting announcement echoed through the town. Hear ye! Hear ye! Our prince will be holding a grand ball at the castle. All eligible young ladies are invited. The moment Cinderella's stepsisters heard the news, they squealed with delight. We must get the finest gowns. The prince will choose one of us. They rushed out to shop, leaving Cinderella alone with her thoughts. Cinderella watched with a heavy heart as they prepared for the ball, daydreaming about attending and dancing with the prince. Finally, the big day arrived. Her stepsisters woke up before dawn, calling for Cinderella to help them. Cinderella, hurry! We need our baths. Cinderella obeyed, helping them get ready for the ball. They pranced in front of the mirror, admiring their beauty and boasting about how the prince would surely fall in love with one of them. Cinderella, summoning all her courage, approached her stepmother. Please, may I go to the ball too? The stepmother burst into laughter. You? In that old dress? The prince is looking for a wife, not a maid. With that, she and her daughters hurried off to the castle, leaving Cinderella alone and heartbroken. As tears streamed down her face, a bright light suddenly filled the room. Startled, Cinderella looked up to see a beautiful fairy floating before her. Don't cry, my dear Cinderella. You shall go to the ball. Cinderella was astonished. Really? But how can I? The fairy smiled. Bring me a pumpkin and seven mice. Confused but excited, Cinderella rushed to the kitchen for the pumpkin and then gathered her little mice friends from the attic. With a wave of her magic wand, the fairy transformed the pumpkin into a magnificent carriage, the mice into splendid white horses, and Cinderella's tattered dress into a stunning ball gown adorned with shimmering glass slippers. Now remember, the fairy warned, you must return home before the clock strikes midnight. If you don't, everything will turn back to what it was. Cinderella nodded, filled with gratitude and awe. She hopped into the carriage and rode toward the castle, her heart racing with excitement. As she arrived, the entire ballroom fell silent, all eyes on her stunning beauty. The stepmother and stepsisters were speechless, unable to recognize the girl they had treated so cruelly. Suddenly, the prince appeared at the top of the staircase, his gaze locked onto Cinderella. He descended the steps, captivated by her grace. Would you do me the honor of this dance? He asked, extending his hand. Cinderella, blushing, took his hand, and they danced gracefully across the floor. As the music played, they lost themselves in the moment, forgetting about the world around them. They twirled and laughed, 
enjoying each other's company until Cinderella noticed the clock nearing midnight. Panic surged through her. I must go, she exclaimed, breaking away from the prince. She ran down the castle stairs, her heart pounding. In her haste, she lost one of her glass slippers, but didn't dare turn back. The clock struck twelve, and with a blinding flash, everything returned to its original state. Cinderella hurried home, heartbroken yet thrilled by the magical night she had experienced. But could the prince ever find her again? Meanwhile, the prince stood on the castle steps, holding the glass slipper, determined to find the mysterious girl who had captured his heart. Find the owner of this shoe, he commanded his guards. Search the entire kingdom. The next day, Cinderella sat in her attic, remembering the ball. Just then, she saw a grand carriage pull up outside. Her heart raced at the sight. Could it be the prince? But before she could run down, her stepmother caught her. Where do you think you're going? You can't try on the shoe. She locked Cinderella in the attic, laughing cruelly. Cinderella's spirits sank. But when the prince's men arrived, she saw hope. They tried the shoe on her stepsisters, but it wouldn't fit. Please, let me try it. Cinderella pleaded. Her stepmother scoffed, but just then, her mice friends rushed to help her. They found the key and slid it under the door. With trembling hands, Cinderella unlocked the door and raced downstairs. As she slipped on the glass slipper, it fit perfectly. Everyone gasped in amazement. Is this you? They all exclaimed. Just then, the prince entered the house, and as he saw Cinderella, his face lit up. It was you all along. He took her hand, and together they left for the castle. Soon after, Cinderella and the prince were married in a grand ceremony filled with joy and laughter. They lived happily ever after, surrounded by love, kindness, and the warmth of true friendship. And so, dear children, remember that kindness and courage can lead to the most magical adventures. Sweet dreams, and may you always believe in the power of love and hope.